Meantime, in Salinas, the exact moment that North Salinas High School was dealing with that school threat this morning, top administrators from four Salinas school districts were actually talking about their efforts aimed at ensuring school safety. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran joins us now with more on what they have planned. Well, Aaron, Dan, as you can imagine, since the shooting in Florida and because of these threats made locally, schools have been prompted to take a closer look at their policies and protocols. And now with the federal government weighing in on school safety, local schools are debating how far they'll go to protect students. Since the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, local schools have been receiving calls daily from families concerned about their students' safety. This prompted the superintendents from four Salina school districts and the Office of Education to come together with law enforcement for a public forum about school safety. Bullying prevention has been expanded to violence prevention, telling students if they see something, say something. Most school staff is trained to respond in an active shooter scenario, and students will be trained next. It gets pretty, it gets quite tricky and, and complicated in the sense that we have to make sure we're informing students enough, but not to the extent where we're bringing fear or adding to their fear that they, that they may already have. Therapists and counselors are on campus to identify red flags, and some schools have armed police or probation officers available to respond to threats. Administrators say they're tackling safety with various strategies, but the idea proposed by the Trump administration to arm teachers is not one of them. Teachers have a very special relationship with their students, one of caring for them and nurturing them, and to put a gun into their hand would not be something that is going to promote the relationship between the student and the teacher and solve that problem at the classroom level. The superintendent of the Salinas Union High School District says their teachers union has been vocal about opposing guns on campus. I, I think the national political rhetoric right now is throwing a lot of stuff out there, but ultimately um, guns don't, have, they don't change poverty, they don't change hunger, they don't change the effects of environmental trauma, and those are things we're dealing with on a consistent basis in schools that lead to um, violent acts. The superintendent added that a decision on whether or not to arm teachers would have to go through the school board and a number of other stakeholders on many levels. He also said that the district would want to take a look at research to see how effective arming teachers would be in deterring violence before considering it. Aaron, Dan. All right.